Hi everyone, welcome along. Back in the woods again. Now today I'm having a look at the at a, a water container, a foldable water container bag. It's from Decathlon. It's a 10 liter capacity. I just got it there yesterday. It's something that I use for for my water filtering system when I'm camping or out the field. So without further ado, let's get a look at it. So I'm all set up here now. Let's get a look at this water carrier bag. So this is the item in question here. It's the 10 litre. 10 litre water container, jerry can, foldable. So that's the that's the main feature of this, is that you can fold it up. Like so. so I can get you 10 litres of water, that's easy to stuff into your pack. For taking camping, whatever. So when you get to your water source, you can fill that up. 10 litres, bring it back to your camp, and you're not having to go to and fro, to and fro, to and fro, constantly filling small containers of water. So that's the uh, benefit of this thing. This is the old one I had. This was a mountain warehouse one. That's supposed to be 10 litres as well. There's one fill point on this. You fill it on here and it also empties out there with that wee tap. What happened with this one is uh, the seam bust there. Okay, so, and that's just continuously. Get worse and worse, so that's why I had to get a new one. So let's get a look at the new one, anyway. My first impressions, anyway, is that this is much more supple than this. So straight away, I'm thinking this is far less likely to bust at the seams the same way as this did. Because when you're constantly rolling up, rolling up, it uh, will have a tendency then to to start splitting over time. I have had this a while, I have had this maybe at least a year, coming two years. So it's done, and it was only cheap, they're both about the same price. They're both about 10 euro. So they're not that dear or anything. And, and the shape of this one is different to this as well. So this is basically one shape, it's a big flat bag. I see that. You can't set it down or anything, it has to hang up by the handles. There's a piece of wood in the handles there holding it up. It's quite a good bag, I did like it. This is entirely different, entirely different shape. It's more of a can shape, where well, I suppose you would say it's like a cone, cone shape. I'll show you now anyway. So let's open it up. So yeah, that's it there. As I said, the shape is very different. Now I'd say the only thing about this is it's not going to fold as nicely as this. But it's still foldable. And as I say, it's more supple, so it's probably going to fold a bit easier. It's got a large handle on there, and it's got a string on it as well. And again, it's got your tap at the bottom there. Just position that a bit better. Yeah, the tap action is nice and smooth. It's definitely smoother than this one, than the old one. It's 10 litres. It fills, and this one can fill. I suppose you can fill it at the bottom, but it's fills primarily supposed to fill at the top. Okay? So the way this works, I'm looking at this now, is you pull this handle off, I think. So it slides off. You see that? It just slides off, like so. Okay? And then this flaps up. And that opens up. Unless you're opening there and following it. It doesn't. I don't know how good that'll be for. Stay open or not, I don't know. But that's your fall point there. When you're finished, close it over. And slide this guy back on. So there's only one way this can go on. And it says on it there, open. It says there, close. It's, you've got a kind of a open side there and a sort of side where it's sort of closed there. So you slide this open side over it. 
and then push your eyes out until you hear that wee click. And that's it. Seems good. Let's get it filled up and see how it performs. So we're back down at our, our wee water source here. I'm going to try filling this bag and see how that goes. The first impressions are maybe holding that open could be a bit of a pain, but I'll see you anyway. So it's very easy to get the water in there anyway. Give you a bit of a closer look at that. So it goes in, goes in very easy. With absolutely no spilling at all. So that's a good point, that's a plus point. Let's get it filled right up. Ideally for this scenario, this particular scenario, I would want a bigger filler, a bigger container for filling. But the reason I have this small one is a lot of times you'll find that the places you're trying to scoop water out of are not that, are not very deep. And if you've got a big giant container and you're trying to scoop water out of something very shallow, well, I think you can imagine the problems. So this allows you to scoop from deep places and shallow places. That's my top tip there. Plus, a wee small container, I guess takes up less room in your pack as well. And what I normally do is I roll this up, roll the water carrier up, and I put it into this. Well, I put one end of it into this, so not of it. Obviously not going to be able to get the whole thing in. So we're nearly filled anyway. It's pretty. Definitely a lot easier than a lot quicker than trying to fill through the tap hole and the other one. So this is fill to the top now. We'll get this on now. Well, that seems hard to click on there. There we go. So, let's see. Well, let's hold it anyway. Definitely feels like 10 litres. So bring it on up and hang it from a tree limb, see how that goes. So that's it hanging up there. You see it'll steady it up there. Now you'd probably what you'd want a fairly strong tree limb there to hold it up. You see with a flat with the flat bottom, you can also rest this on top of tables and stuff with that hanging off the edge. We'll check now to see how the tap performs. And yeah, it comes out there with pretty good force. It's very very easy to turn. And get a nice wee sprinkle there if you want as well. There's no leaks or anything. Only thing I would say, it's fairly solid, but I would say you want to be careful about where you would leave this down on the forest floor if you're out doing wild camping and stuff. 
because you could easily, with that flat bottom, you could easily place it down on top of a sharp stick and you're going to have a bust pretty quick. But the uh, all these seams and things are very wide and they look good. So they do all along the bottom. You can see everything's nice and supple. Much more supple than my other bag. And I like that you can fill it at the top here. And there it comes with this rope as well. You can hang it by in here as well, or the rope, whatever you prefer. Both are good options. So this is normally the way I would have my water set up, you know, is I would fill this with the uh, unfiltered water. And then I put it into this filter sock you've probably seen now. I've done a review of this in the last video, if you want to see more about that. And it filters through and takes out any wee bits. And then I take the water and I boil it and that's that I've filtered and purified water. So that, that's my setup there. It's simple, lightweight, you can use it anywhere and it's it's not really going to let you down. And you don't need this to do the filtering. So I just have this for convenience. For things like washing up, washing your hands, washing your dishes. This is a great job. So it is. So yeah. Overall, I would definitely give this thing a thumbs up. Uh, time will tell if it's how durable it is, but I've found from any stuff I've got from Decathlon so far, it's been pretty good. That's about all for, for that. Um, it's a good water, water bag. It folds up nicely too, so when you empty it out, and it's easy to empty it too, that's another thing about it. That's what I like, is you can take that top off. And take that top off there, completely empty it out. And if you really, really want to, you can get your hand in there and dry it out with a towel or whatever for storing. I generally don't because I'm never putting in purified water anyway. And this thing is a, uh, it's suitable for drinking water straight out of too, if you have drinking water. So it gets a thumbs up for me. Overall, it's, it seems like a good product. So, anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, if you've watched this far. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Leave a comment if you have any questions or any views on it. I always enjoy reading the comments and I'll answer to any, any questions, if I can. So yeah, that's it for me. Till the next one, bye.